this video clip describes how to write, solve, write and solve real life equations with variables on both sides. So an example would be choosing a rental car agency. Let's say one company charges $25 per day plus 15 cents per mile to rent a car. Another rental agency charges $35 per day plus 10 cents per mile to rent a car. How many miles per day will have to be driven for the cost of the first agency to be the same as the cost of the second agency? Well, why would you want to know when they're the same cost? Well, if you drive more miles than that, then you want to choose the agency that charges less per mile. <coughs> that would be the one that charges 10 cents per mile. So anyways, if you drive less than that, then you're probably, then you're okay choosing the one that has a higher cost per mile, but has a lower upfront cost. So that's the reason why you might want to solve something like that. <coughs> So first of all, we need to write an equation that matches this situation. So let's try to write an equation for the first company. The cost is equal to $25 plus 0 0.15 cents per mile. The cost for the second situation second company would be $35 plus 10 cents per mile. Notice that although we're talking about 15 cents, we need to write both in terms of dollars or both in terms of cents for, to be able to do this equation. Let's put them both in terms of dollars. So 15 cents is written as 0.15 and point and 10 cents is written as 0.1 or 0 0.10 either way now to the place where those two are equal for the cost to be the same we can set those two costs equal to each other so 25 plus 15 cents per mile is equal to 35 plus 10 cents per mile. So the top equation is equal to the second equation. Put them into one, e one equation. So now we need to get the M terms the variable terms all on one side or the other. So I would suggest we leave the largest one, the 15 cents per mile where it is, and move the other one. So let's subtract 10 cents per mile from each side. Well, 10 cents per mile subtracted from 15 cents per mile leaves us 5 cents per mile and we just bring down the $25 so this is 0 so 35 plus 0 let's just write 35 now let's get the $25 away from there Let's subtract $25 from each side. So, whoops, 5 cents per mile. So that's 0 0.05 times the number of miles is equal to 35 minus 25, which is. 10. So the, there's a $10 difference in the two 
companies, the two agencies, how much they charge initially. And the difference between their costs is five cents per mile. So at some point, if I drive enough miles, that, that will make up that $10 difference. You can just divide, since that is 0 .5, 0 0.05 times M, we can just divide by 0 0.05. You can just do that on a calculator. And that says M equals 200. So if I drive 200 miles at 5 cents a mile, then those two costs will be equal. Let's try another example. We'll change the situation a little bit. So $35 per day plus 10 cents per mile, $40 per day, and 8 cents per mile. So at some point those will be equal. So we can write that as 35 plus 0 0.10 cents per mile is going to be equal to 40 plus 0 0.08 cents per mile. Well, let's subtract 8 cents per mile from each side. That way we can have a positive number to deal with. So we have 35 plus 0 0.08 zero two two cents per mile is equal to forty dollars so let's get the two cents per